Hello, welcome. It is 12-12 on this beautiful May day, uh, first day of May, and such a powerful time, what's called the Beltane. And Beltane is representing this integration time, this time of bringing ourselves into the integration between the masculine and the feminine, which is within us and how, how we express in the world. Welcome Kimberly Rosenthal and Eve Lopez Lockhart and Julie Fields. So great to have each of you here with me on this beautiful Beltane, this integration day, this time of honoring the sacred feminine and the sacred masculine within and how it expresses in the world. Welcome Mike Brentari. And so as we are awakening to this time of what is truly happening at an inner level that we're bringing into expression into the world, we are getting an opportunity to look at what where we are um, acknowledging all the different aspects of self and truly knowing every aspect of ourselves as sacred. Welcome Stacy Turner and Jake Campy. Well, glad to have you with us and Charlotte Hopkins. Uh, glad to have you as well. And in this time of Beltane, this May Day, we are really acknowledging this amazing presence and power that is these energies when integrated in our soul and integrated in a way that brings forth the spiritual power, the truth of our oneness with creation and with our own creative power. Welcome Donna Dylan Summers, great to have you here as well, and Jeannie Mustachia. And so, this is a powerful moment for us to acknowledge where have we been in resistance to our own value, our own worth, our own sense of ourselves? Where are we in resistance to honoring the sacred in all of the integrated whole in every aspect of it, and then being willing to honor and acknowledge in ourselves? You know, many of us have learned to claim our value in an in a way that is against something else. Let me get angry and therefore show you my value. And I want to honor Amber Lonsdale and Mary Helen Mersbacher who have joined us. And we have learned that to claim ourselves, it's like we have to do that in resistance to something else because we didn't always feel that value within ourselves, that sense of it's okay to own and honor who and what we are. You know, it, many of us learned that in order to be valued, we looked for the world to give us that validation. Our worth is based upon someone else's view and estimation of me. And so therefore, there's been this deep collective soul anger um, that has had a resistance energy to it. I, by golly, I'm going to have to fight against you because you're not validating me. And in that process, I'm not validating you either. And the truth is, is where is that validation, this integrated whole within us that honors these different aspects of us, both that feminine mystique and that masculine steward that brings forth a great presence into the world. And as we honor that and begin to value ourselves without needing to make it forceful, um, we just walk through the world as a realization of who we are in our divine uh, birthright, in our conscious awareness that we are a presence and a force in this world. And someone who is carrying that integrated soul, it is, there is a presence and a force that's more powerful because they've claimed and honored all those parts of themselves and they value themselves. Welcome Mary McCormick Morrow and Ruthie Freeman and Kate Lumley and Linda Gillespie. Great to have you here with us. So when we are learning to say, at first we may find that in order to value ourselves, I, I push against to show you, I must go claim it and prove to you and let you know how valuable I am because by golly, I don't feel like you see me or that you understand me or that you're, you're giving me that validation and that do. Um, and so what happens in this 
we is that we create actually more push and pull resistance energy. We have aspects of ourselves that we're not honoring fully in the process of that. So instead, when we can gentle ourselves away from this outer experience and whatever it may be that we're, we're, we're experiencing or up against, so to speak, something that is showing us ourselves, because all the world is relationship. You know, relationship is how we know ourselves. It's actually the tool for our own inner feedback. So how do I know myself? By seeing me through you, by seeing you and all the things that, that I experience. So in that this moment, do I know myself really fully? Do I know and integrate and love all those parts of me? Those that I have maybe in the past condemned, maybe I've not valued fully. Welcome Kimberly Wright, great to have you with us as well. And as we begin to come to a realization of oneself, a realization of my um, intrinsic value, uh, that there is nothing I need to do to have value in this world. I already am a divine presence right here and right now that carries a different imprint electromagnetically it absolutely is an attracting power that brings forth then experiences that would affirm what we're holding within our own being. And the same is true if we're not feeling valuable within ourselves. We're not feeling our own sense of wonder and awe and gratitude at the magnificence within us. Now, it's important to understand this is a spiritual principle. You know, we were often taught in our world, don't you dare be arrogant. And so we have such fear about if I claim the truth of my own being, if I realize myself as divine, then all of a sudden, then all of a sudden I, I'm, I'm arrogant. There's something wrong with my doing that. But the truth is, it's it's, I remember the old Marianne Williamson saying, or Nelson Mandela, it was attributed to both of them, that you know, it's not your um, darkness that scares you, it's your light. It's, it's there, we are powerful beyond measure. But the power within us is not our personal power. It's not based on my willing it to happen. It's not based upon my deciding and proving it and let me do it with adamancy. And that's what's so powerful in this time of integrating our feminine and masculine energy and unifying this field of light that is within us is that we begin to realize that I am lit up by the, the Christ consciousness, by the divine light, by the awareness of my birthright as a divine being. And when I own that, I, and I don't even know if own it is the right world, I realize it because it is a realization within me then all of a sudden, all of the resistance energy, all of the push against um, how we've not been honored or where how we have dishonored ourselves or we still dishonor others or we have this energy that is a fight, is all of that begins to settle down and get released. And all of a sudden, in the realization of our true essence, in the realization of our intrinsic value of this experience of ourselves as this integrated whole, we begin to show up, we can show up with a gentleness that has a profound power to it. It doesn't have to be something that um, is done. When I say that we become a force, it's a force by presence. It's not something that has uh, the kind of push kind of force. None of that's necessary. There, in that energy of integrated wholeness, of honoring the masculine and the feminine and the interplay within us, then all of a sudden, we, that, that, it's like we light up an electromagnetic energy loop within our being. And that energy then begins to radiate out and it also magnetizes in. And we are experienced in our value. 
because we experience ourselves in our divine human value. We recognize the divine in us has created this experience of our human, and therefore anything that I am is, is fueled by this infinite side of me, by this divine self in me. So in this integration, I can trust it. I can trust myself. I can feel at home in myself and honor all those parts of me. I can celebrate all the parts of me. And I don't feel any need to, you know, have to go and get you to validate that for me any longer. Welcome Lucy Schwill and Misty Fain. Great to have each of you with us as well. And I'm wanting to invite us on this time of Beltane, this time of integrating the inner masculine and feminine and integrating in whatever way we choose that in the outer world as well, that we are honoring our true value and we're surrendering that part of us that feels the need to force it, the need to make you see me because it's unnecessary when I see myself as the truth of who and what I am. Uh, that walking through the world in realization of who I am does not require anything from anyone else. Welcome Lana Young and Regina Andrews Duarte. So great to have each one of you and each one of you here that represent that integrated whole, that expression of divine light in form. If we really got past the idea that we are born sinners or we're born as worms of the earth and that humility is about denying ourselves, that's not humility. Humility is knowing the truth of where the power is. The truth is that it's not me at all. It's not the ego side of me. It's the divine light within me that is incredibly powerful and it's the most humbling thing to claim and know that but I don't diminish my human self to do that that is what powers and empowers me to be a living presence of light in the world and so it doesn't serve as the quote says it doesn't serve by playing small it serves by acknowledging the magnificence that is within me, that is operating in this integrated way with that masculine and that feminine, to be fully who I am in this moment and to know that my purpose and presence here makes a difference to the world. And the more I'm aligned with these powers within me, the more I have lit up the circuits of my physical form. And so life surges through me. Energy, there is a beautiful energy that comes through, a vitality for life, a joy that is the, the core of my being. When I light up all those circuits within me, then all of a sudden, not only am I expressing health and wholeness and vitality, I'm expressing this divine life as a principle within me that is integrated fully between these, these these aspects of myself, these parts of me that I've condemned some and claimed others, and none of that is necessary in the moment of being aligned in my wholeness, but my divine electromagnetic being is on fire. See, the Beltane, the Beltane symbol is a festival of fire because it's recognizing the fire of life in this creative flow, ever integrating, ever uh, going through this process together to bring more energy, more life, more creativity. And um, the greatest creativity that comes forth from our being is through that divine light, but it happens by our knowing who we are, by the realization without my needing to go and, and make sure you know and make sure you show me back, I, I'm in harmony with myself when I'm in that integrated self. When I walk through the world, knowing who I am. And I wish for each one of you today, welcome Aralia Acosta and a welcome Linda Patterson. Great to have you each with us. 
is that when I know who I am, I feel in harmony with the various aspects of myself and I allow that divine inspiration to come through and be the electromagnetic charge. I am humbled by the ability to be in life, to be a part of this presence that, that is bringing that creative play out into the world. All the ways that we, we uh, magnetize and experience that energy that is in coherence with our heart and our soul. Because no longer is the ego in charge, because it's taken a back seat because there's a knowing and a trust. And that's why it takes a back seat, not because we condemn the ego. We don't condemn that either. So this is about that um, embracing all of us and integrating all of us. So I really wish for you today on this Beltane, this May day, that you feel those energies circuiting through your being, that you feel yourself light up with the light of truth, with the light of this divine consciousness, that the humility that you feel is because you know that the true power is within you, but it's a divine power. I can't will it, but I can realize it. I can realize and know who I am and walk through the world with ease, with grace, with wisdom, with confidence, with a, uh, a, a harmony and a peace in my being. And I wish that for each one of you this day and whatever is transpiring, let it be a union of all the aspects of yourself within. Welcome Perry Winston, glad to have you here. I honor each one of you as an integrated whole being, as a, a presence for that radiance of divine light in its unified awareness, in, a, in it bringing forth that masculine and feminine in their union, in that inner being and expressing it in the fullness of all that you offer into the world. May you allow the universe to express through you with joy, with grace and with ease. And you celebrate this May Day in the ways that would delight you in that inner experience and outer expression. God bless you friends. Have a fabulous, fabulous, happy Beltane, happy May Day, just happy day. God bless you, love you all. Thanks Donna Crystal for joining us.